Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, as you all know, our Java for Interview series is going on, in which we will be discussing the most commonly as well as most important Java for Interview questions. Okay, so this is the third video of this series. In this particular video, we will be discussing what is the difference between throw and throws keyword. We will be discussing the difference with the help of proper coding example, and then theoretical difference will we will also discuss. Okay, so as make sure that you watch this video till the end so that you can get a clarity that what is the exact difference between these two keywords. Okay, and guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel till now, please subscribe it because lot of more videos regarding the interview series will be posted on this channel. So don't forget to watch them. So guys, let's just start this video. And if you want to see previous videos also, there is a pro proper playlist here. I will give you the link of this playlist in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to visit this playlist and study for the interviews for Java. Okay, so let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Guys, before moving forward, let's just quickly talk about the Next Level by An Academy. It is India's gaming based hiring platform. Next Level has come up with a new product that is an AI powered resume builder. Next Level's resume builder utilizes cutting edge AI technology to help you create a polished professional looking resume in just minutes. It's easy to use and you can customize the resume for a wide range of professions and job titles. Like you can see on screen, you can simply click on simple prompts and the resume will get auto fill. Okay? Trust me, it's that easy. No more spending hours trying to figure out the right words to use for the perfect format to follow. Next Level's Resume Builder gives you the edge over the other applicants. You can fill this resume automatically within 3-5 to five minutes. For example, if you are a business development professional who is also open to relation roles, you can create both resume by just entering a single prompt. It's very easy. So if you are looking for a platform to help you building the world class resume and land your dream job, then Next Level is for you. And guys, remember one thing that this Resume Builder will only work on the laptop or desktop. The links are given in the description box. Go and check your, for yourself. Okay, so guys, we will be discussing the difference between throws and throw keyword with the help of code now. And at the later part of the video, we will be discussing that uh, we will be reading the difference from the notepad also that how to answer in the interview. So first I will be discussing what is throws keyword with the help of code and then the throw keyword. So let's just start and see what is the difference, how we use throws keyword and why we use throws keyword. Okay, so let's start it. Okay, so as this is our simple Java program wherein we have our main method and I have made my uh, made a function that is divide. So what this function will do, it will take two arguments and it will uh, return the answer when what, what that will be the answer when we'll divide A by B. So this is a simple function, divide function is there int d is equal to a divided by b and we are simply returning d from here okay so now let's just simply call this function first from our main method so it will be like it will be called like this okay it will be called like this divide uh, let's just divide 6 by 2 okay so let now uh, it will be returning the answer and that answer we will store in the int d okay int d we will store and let's just simply print out int d Okay, so D we are printing. Let's just simply run this program like this. Okay. So you will see that this particular program will return our answer correctly and it will not throw any error. Let's just see quickly. <clears throat> okay, here you can see that answer is returned to 3. So this is the perfect case wherein our code is running successful. But we all know that we have to look forward for the edge cases where our code can fail. So instead of 2, now let's just return 0 here. Okay. So let's just return 0, now 6 divided by 0. So will it return an answer? So let's just run it and see it by ourselves. So my answer is no, it will not return an error, but it will throw an exception. Okay, but it will throw an exception. So here you can see that there is a runtime error that is coming and there is an error in the code. So it means that if you have written this particular function and you have not handled the exception or not handled the edge cases, then your entire program will be ending abruptly okay no process will be uh, taking place and it will end your application will crash so how to protect that thing now see this particular function we have written now we know that 
there is an error in this particular function that is we have not encountered we have not handled any of the edge cases and that is when b is zero so it means it will throw the exception when b will be zero so now when we are calling this function here also there is no exception handled now how will we know that while we are calling this function it will give an exception or not so in this case what we will do we will use the throws keyword okay throws keyword is used with the method signature okay throws keyword is used with the method signature and it tells the um, it tells the programmer that this particular function can throw an exception and after this throws keyword we will be writing the name of the class the name of the exception that it can throw so here we know that dividing by zero returns an arithmetic exception here also i think it is written so here you can see here it is written, it is throwing arithmetic exception so here now we are telling the programmer then that when you will call this particular function this function can return an exception that is arithmetic exception so the role of throws keyword is to tell the programmer that is calling that function that this function can throw an error now let's just suppose that this uh, function is written by written by person a okay person a has written it now person b is calling this function person b is calling this function okay so now person a has written that he has mentioned that this particular function can throw an error now it is the responsibility of person b who is calling this function to handle that exception so how we can handle exception in java See, the simple rule is try catch block now what we'll do we'll simply print or we will take this particular thing inside the try block okay we will place that function which can throw the exception in the try block okay and then if that function in the try block throws the exception then we need a catch block that can catch that exception okay arithmetic exception e now we'll simply print it and like we'll sim in the catch block we'll simply print print ln or we, will, like, we can simply print uh, divided by zero exception handled divide by zero exception handled we can simply write like this so let's just now run it and let's just see if the if any error comes or our program runs successfully initially we have seen that when we were simply dividing by zero our program was throwing runtime error and our code was abruptly getting stopped now let's just see so here you can see that our code has successfully executed and there is no error coming just there is a printing that this exception has been handled so again one thing is here to note that that we use try catch so that our function do not end ab abruptly okay and next thing is that that we have used the throws keyword this throws keyword is used with the method signature and it is used to tell the programmer who is calling this function that this function might throw an exception and what type of exception it can throw it can throw an arithmetic exception so it's the role of the person who is calling this function to handle the exception while calling this function so like this we can handle this exception so this is what a throws keyword do throws keyword simply gives the instruction gives simply gives the warning to the calling person that this function can throw the exception so this is the main role of throws keyword so i hope now the throws keyword is clear to you now let's just quickly jump towards the throw keyword okay so guys throw keyword now i am talking about throw keyword now guys throw keyword is used in the java program when we have to explicitly throw an exception based on some conditions okay we will look with the help of code but just keep this in mind that throw keyword we use when we have to throw an exception explicitly based on some conditions in our code okay so let's just quickly run, uh, now move towards the code and see so let's just first create our own exception class that is uh, we have to uh, create our own exception class that we want to throw so let me just copy it for saving time i have already written it so let me just copy it so we have created our own custom exception class that is class invalid age exception that will be extending extending exception class and inside this exception class we have uh, we will be passing the string that we want to get printed on our screen okay so throw keyword i will show you that how we can use with the help of this invalid age exception class okay now let's just again exception can occur in method only or in methods so again let me just make a method like i have in throws keyword i have shown you 
I have shown you that uh, we are doing divide by zero, and in this particular thing in throw keyword, we are taking another function that is vote function. So we all know that we can only vote when our age is greater than or equivalent to eighteen. So if mean it it means that if our age is less than eighteen, then there is an error. We have to throw an exception here. Okay. So as I have told you, we use throw keyword. We use throw keyword when we have to. Throw an exception based on some conditions. Okay, so here we have declared our own exception class. Okay, and we have make our made our function name as vote. Okay, so this is our main function in normal Java class. So inside this vote, inside this vote function, so we are passing this age. Now, as I have told you, if our age is less than eighteen, then we are not allowed to vote. It means we will be throwing an exception. So here is a condition that is written. that if our age is less than 18 if this if condition is successful then we will be throwing a new invalid age exception from this particular method okay we will be throwing a exception on our own based on this condition so this is where we can use throw keyword wherein we will have to explicitly throw an exception from a method based on condition so we have thrown an invalid age exception exception from this particular if Okay, and if our age is greater than eighteen or equivalent to eighteen, then it is nothing. We will simply print out that you are eligible to vote. Okay, so this is what our code looks like. Now let just now try to call this vote function. So we will call this vote function since it it is void. So we can directly call this vote function. And now let just pass an age of sixteen. So according to our code, that when we will be passing this vote function, when we will be passing this vote, uh, when we will be calling this vote function. age will be less than 18 and it should throw an exception now let us simply run it let's just see if our if if our code is correct or not and if it is not then what are the changes we need to do further so again i am telling you if you are not like this channel till now and subscribe this channel till now please subscribe it because more such videos regarding interview will be coming on this channel we have run this code and here you can see that we have got an error we have got an error that is Invalid age exception must be caught or declared to be thrown. So there is an bug in our code now also. That is, if our age is eighteen, we are throwing an exception. This is perfectly correct that we are throwing this exception. But since we are throwing this exception, we are not catching this exception. So how will our code know that exception has been thrown and we we have to catch it and our program should not end abruptly. So since we are throwing this exception from this particular method, so while calling this method, we will have to catch that exception also. So we will again use our try catch block here. Okay, vote sixteen. Let's just copy paste in this particular thing. Okay, so this is the method which can throw, which is throwing an exception based on condition. So it must be handled using a try block. And if this try block throws an exception, then it must be caught with a catch block. And what type of exception will be caught with the Catch block. It will be invalid age age exception. E is the uh, e is the object. And let just now simply what we can say simply print system dot out dot print ln. We will be simply printing the message that will e a e to string. Okay. So this is we are doing now. So is our code now clear? That we are thrown the exception from here, okay, and we have caught the exception here while calling this method. So now let's just run this code and see: is it fine? Is it running fine, or is there are still any errors in this particular code? So again, you can see that there is an error that is unreported exception. Okay, invalid age exception is never thrown in the body of the corresponding try statement. So what does it mean? That unreported exception. So as as I have told you in throws keyword that throws keyword is used in the method signature and it is used to tell the programmer who is calling this method that this method can throw an exception. So therefore we are using that throws method. So in this particular thing, what is happening that we are throwing an exception. It is also being handled handled, but we we are not giving any warning to the person who is calling this method. So this is also an error. So what will you? What we will do? We will simply give a warning also to the uh, programmer who is calling this method that this particular method 
throws the exception and which exception it is throwing it is throwing the invalid age exception like in previous example it was throwing uh, arithmetic exception in this particular thing he is calling invalid age exception now let's just run it okay <clears throat> so now it will be running perfectly fine and it will give you the correct answer our code will not stop abruptly but it will give you a proper flow that is invalid age exception not eligible to vote so it is not an error it is just a message to the output screen that is not eligible to vote okay so this was the case when our this condition was getting fulfilled what if our condition is now age is 19 let's just run it now also so again our program will run successfully it will not throw any exception and it this particular line this particular if will not be running and this particular line will be running that is eligible to vote that is you are simply eligible to vote so eligible to vote so here in both the cases whether exception is occurring or not our program is not stopping abruptly it is completely getting fulfilled so this is how what is the difference between throw and throws keyword let's just quickly like learn about the differences theoretical also but let me just tell you that throw keyword is again used to throw exception explicitly but throws keyword is used to give a warning to the uh, programmer who is calling this particular function now let's just read the differences theoretically that how you can answer these things in the interview okay so guys now let's just read some differences but before moving ahead please hit that like and subscribe button because i'm really working hard towards this playlist so give me motivating motivation by hitting that like and subscribe button so let's just read the differences first now java throw keyword is used to throw an exception explicitly in the code based on some condition as i've told you whereas throws keyword is used to declare an exception in a function signature that might be thrown or might not be thrown like we have seen here throw keyword we are explicitly throwing an exception and throws keyword we are just declaring that this function might throw an exception okay next difference is that the throw keyword is followed by an instance of the exception whereas the throws keyword is followed by the class name of the exception now what does it means so here if you are noticing that when we are throwing an exception we are throwing an instance of the exception this is an instance of the except, exception but while we are using the throws keyword we are declaring the exception we are declaring the class of the exception this is the name of the class with the throws keyword and this is the instance of the exception with the throw keyword this is also a major difference next is that throw is used within the method body okay so this is the method and within the method body throw is used whereas throws is used in the method signature again and again it is repeating it is used in the throws is used in the method signature okay next is we are allowed to throw only one exception at a time we cannot throw multiple exceptions at a time but we can declare multiple exceptions using throw keyword that can be thrown by the method let's just understand this difference so see we are throwing an exception from here but at a time we can use throw keyword with one exception only but throws keyword in this throws keyword we can declare multiple exceptions at a time so for example here is it is invalid age, age exception we can simply do write a comma and we can throw arithmetic exception also so here using throws keyword multiple exceptions can be declared at a time but using throw keyword only single exception can be thrown at that time so these were the basic differences between these two keywords i hope the coding part as well as the theoretical part is clear to you all so guys thank you for watching this video but do share this video among your friends and do hit that like and subscribe button because more such java for interview videos will be posted on this channel thank you for watching this video